but I had to sell a lot of my records <laughs> to actually DJ, to pay the cab to go and DJ. So I went to Record and Tape Exchange when you take your records in and you can get some money or you can get some fake money and you can buy some other records with this bullshit money that they give you, right? So I went in there and uh, the guy was like, all right, I can give you uh, 200 pounds or 500 pounds exchange money to spend in my shop. I need the 200 pounds, right? I'm broke, I need the 200 pounds. He's about to give me the 200 pounds and I look up on the, look up on the top there and it's got this record for 500 pounds of this is guy playing bongos. And I look at him and I'm like, man, that must, that, what's that record like? And he's like, that's, that's the dope, that's the rest. Can I have that? I'll have that. <laughs> so I spent 500 pounds on one record and I took it home and I played it. And it was one um, continuous loop of a guy playing bon bongos. That was it. I don't even know what the record's called either, man. Don't buy it. It's <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that's my story. War of the Worlds, I used to listen to this as a kid a lot and um, it really inspired my kind of mixtape pr uh, production because it was like a whole fake story but put into a radio show about an alien man and it was so well done that it just really stuck in my head, you know, and like, and I just thought, man, if I could do something where there's a character and, and there's a whole world there and you think it's real, but it's not. I love that. I love that, man. It's like, you don't know what I look like. I could be anyone, you know? And you don't need to know what I look like because it's, the, it's my production and it's my music that should, it's what, all I want you to know about. Because the rest of it, I'm telling you now, it's <laughs> a documentary. Like, I'm a ninja, man. That's why I wear, wear a mask, man. That's what it is. I don't need to explain it.